Ever wondered why some screws sit flush with a surface while others stick out? That's the magic of countersinks. Today you'll learn what countersinks are and how they're made. Let's get started. So what exactly is a countersink? Simply put, a countersink is a conical hole cut into a material, often to allow the head of a screw or bolt to sit flush with or below the surface. You may also see countersink, abbreviated CSK or C-sink. Let's break down the anatomy of a countersunk hole. There are three key parameters you need to know. The major diameter, the minor diameter, and the angle. First up is the major diameter. This is the diameter at the top of the hole, right at the surface of your material. You'll want this to match the head of your fastener. If the major diameter is larger than the fastener head, the fastener will sit below the surface. If it's smaller, the fastener will stick out. Next, we have the minor diameter. This is the diameter of the cylindrical part of the hole below the conical taper. It's typically a clearance hole for the shank or threaded body of the fastener. A smaller minor diameter means a deeper tapered portion, while a larger minor diameter means a shallower taper. Finally, the angle. This defines the conical shape of the hole. It needs to match the angle of the fastener you're using. Common angles include 82 degrees for inch-sized fasteners and 90 degrees for metric fasteners. 100 degrees is also an option for some metric hardware. If you see a V-shaped symbol on a technical drawing, that's the countersink symbol. It is usually accompanied by dimensions indicating the diameter and included angle of the countersink. For example, a drawing might show V 8.0 90 degrees, meaning the countersink hole has an 8 mm diameter and a 90 degree included angle. How to drill a countersink. To drill a countersink, the process is straightforward. Here are the steps. Step 1. Drill the pilot hole. First, choose the drill bit that matches your screw diameter. Clamp your metal piece securely to avoid any movement. Mark your spot, then drill the pilot hole by holding the drill perpendicular to the surface and pressing the trigger. Step 2. Check the countersink angle. Make sure you have the correct countersink angle. For metric fasteners, use a 90 degree angle. For inch sized fasteners, use an 82 degree angle. Step 3. Select the correct countersink drill bit. Match the drill bit diameter to your screw head to ensure a snug fit. Use a caliper to measure the screw head if needed. Step 4. Insert the countersink drill bit. Place the countersink bit into the drill chuck and tighten it securely. Make sure it's tight enough to hold but not too tight to remove later. Step 5. Adjust the drill to the right depth. Set the drill to the right depth, typically around 4 mm depending on your screw head size. This ensures the screw will sit flush. Step 6. Drill the countersink hole. Lightly push the drill with the countersink bit into the pilot hole and drill to the desired depth. Step 7. Inspect the countersink hole. Finally, check your work. Make sure the screw sits flush with the metal surface. You might wonder about the advantages of countersinking. Let's take a closer look. First off, countersinking holes give your design a sleek, integrated look. Screws sit flush with the surface, giving a clean, professional look. With no protruding screw heads, there is a reduced risk of snags and injuries. Next, the conical shape of a countersunk hole is self-centering. This means if your holes are laser or water jet cut, you get precise placement every time. The countersink naturally centers the fastener, making your assembly process smoother. What's more, it also ensures structural integrity by distributing the load evenly across the surface, reducing stress on the material. This can prevent material deformation and increase the longevity of the assembly. Look at aircraft. They use thousands of countersunk rivets to keep the surface smooth. Countersinking helps maintain the aerodynamic profile of the components while ensuring that the fasteners do not interfere with the overall design. Do you know counterboard holes? Countersunk holes are often confused with counterboard holes. So what's their difference? A countersink creates a conical hole, which is ideal for flathead screws because it allows the screw head to sit flush with the surface. In contrast, a counterbore produces a flat bottom cylindrical hole which is perfect for socket head screws, as it allows the screw head to be recessed below the surface. While countersink sizes can range from 1 16 inch to a half inch, counterbores usually range from 3 16 inch to one inch. When it comes to drilling angles, countersinks use a variety of angles, with 82 degrees and 90 degrees being the most common, ensuring a perfect match with the fastener's tapered underside. Counterbores, however, have parallel sides and don't need tapering. Their callout symbols on drawings differ too, a countersink is represented by th and a counterbore by th Still, if you need professional support for your metal fabrication project, Rapid Direct has a team of experts ready to assist you. Feel free to contact us.
That's all for today's video on countersinking. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more manufacturing insights. Bye.